Alright, I've been putting this video off long enough. So let's just jump into it. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm covering Prezi Next. Someone commented saying that my very old Prezi video is very out of date, which kind of sort of makes sense, but I do want to clarify that there is a difference between this version of Prezi that I'm going to walk you through and the one from forever ago because I feel like the one from forever ago has not changed. For clarification, the new one is called Prezi Next and the old one is called Prezi Classic. It doesn't say Next, but if I switch to Classic, then the pop-up will say Prezi Next and this is the new Prezi. And this has a lot more features and has a lot of things rearranged. I feel like my old video about Prezi Classic is essentially the same. There might be a ever so slight difference in how Prezi Classic looks, but otherwise all the features are the same when it comes to editing, assuming you don't get this, but is even if you just take like a quick glance, most things are similar. Here's your insert window, your customize options, your background, choose a file, your color, change your color themes. Then you have your advanced, and then you can have your multi layers of background images if you want. That's all there. It's all the same. I don't need to go over this again. So rant aside, we're going to Prezi next. Upon logging in, I saw that they have a new feature called Prezi Video, and I'll cover that in a separate video uh, because there's a lot that I could get into and a whole lot of like pros and cons. But So this video is, again, about Prezi Next. So again, we can convert a PowerPoint to a Prezi. We can start from scratch or we can create from a template. I like to create from a template because lazy. Woo. Um, <laughs> so I'll just pick one. Honestly, I'm going to go with this one even though I've already used it. But you know what? I like this background image. Judge me. I don't care. Use this template. Give it a name. I like the background, dang it. <laughs> You'll have to choose anyone on the web because I'm pretty sure if you choose people I share it with, then you have to upgrade your plan. We're going with free because free, 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 whatever advertisement that's from, don't sue me. Um, <laughs> don't copyright this at least. All right, the number one difference between Prezi Next and Prezi Classic is the subtopics. Generally speaking, Prezi Classic and Prezi Next are pretty similar. However, the subtopics can be disguised as something else. So like, we couldn't see these when we entered into this frame from the big picture. And so that's something we are able to do. Whereas in Prezi Classic, you could not. Then we can click into these and again, see hidden things, which overall makes our presentation look a little cleaner, nicer, professional. And then we can even go further this is what it means to go even further. <laughs> and I honestly have no idea how many subtopics you can have. I tried to do multiples and it never gave me like a limit. So not like you'd ever do that in a presentation, but you can add multiple subtopics. So you even have options with your subtopics. You can do planet style and then click again and it rotates around. You can add a stack one. So when we click into these, you get the full shape with your planet ones whereas the stack basically just like fills or makes the shape fill the entire frame so you get a full color background so that's the difference between those you also have more options in regards to animation so i found that you can animate individual shapes or you can animate things in groups so you can add an animation by right clicking and then selecting add animation or you can click insert where you'll find basically all the things you'll need. Uh, so insert animation in this case. So I can just select my one image and I can have it fade in. Or let's say you wanted to animate the image and the background together, or say this one and this one, these two are gonna be easier for me to click. I can click here, I can hold shift and click that, then come over to my add animation. I can have that fade in and they animate in together. And that is something that you could not do in Prezi Classic because in Prezi Classic, you can only animate things one at a time. Then there's the added animation of zooming to or adding a zoom area. So zoom to just brings you in closer 
to the thing. And if you add a zoom area, then, then it creates a box and then you can tell it, hey, I want to zoom in to this corner instead of an object. Like so. All right, so I'm gonna back up out of here just because. In the new version, you can also change the style presets of individual shapes versus the whole presentation. So if I don't want this to be a faded yellow color, shape, whatever, I can have it be purple and the rest of them stay yellow. I already recorded this and I forgot to mention that you can also change the shapes of your presentation. Now you can't do it to individual topics, shut up phone, uh, but you can do it to your entire theme. So let's say we want to change this purple one that I changed at some point in this video. Um, I can come up to style, I can go to shape and layout, and then I can choose from any of these shapes and it will change the shapes of everything. Let's go with this one. It looks like it'll load faster. And I can also change the layout of my, well, hold up, let's zoom into a topic. I can change the layout of my shapes and other stuff. So sky is the limit with Prezi next. And if you want to prep this for a video, you can choose a video template as well. So I'm going to go back to my normal orbiting and shapes. So on with the rest of this video. Another big difference between the old version and the new version is obviously in the old version under the advanced tab, you have your 3D background option if you want, and you can change the themes colors individually for free. However, in the new version, you don't have the 3D background, so you only get a single image background. You, um, then if you want to adjust uh, your theme colors, so you come up to style, colors, you click your three dots. I'm scrolling to the bottom because this is the theme set. I click the little edit pencil and paywall. So if you want to adjust individual colors of the theme, then you will have to pay. Otherwise you are limited to changing single colors within your theme. And lastly, the other thing that I found different from what I could find is your insert options. Uh, you have a story blocks option. So you have different elements. Uh, at first I thought this was like connected to story blocks, the service, which would be a great segue for a sponsored segment. If this video were actually sponsored, which it is not. Um, <laughs> and basically this is just a fancier version of inserting symbols and shapes in the old version. You can also insert icons and your the icons available are different than what's in the old version and your icons were also under like symbols and shapes basically. So you just pick a style, well that's shapes, and then that's your icons in the old version whereas like you have a lot more and you don't necessarily get to choose from a style, I guess. You have different, ca well, I guess you do have styles, but long and the short of it is there's slightly more variety than the symbols available in the old version. I also discovered that in the old version, they have an option to highlight things and essentially uh, doodle on your presentation if you want. I do not know what this is. This is shapes. I, I don't know what this is. Don't, don't look, don't look into it. Um, however, there is a highlight feature, uh, but it does not allow you to doodle like in the old version. So to use the highlight feature in the new one, you click the text that you want to highlight and then you can choose your highlight color and you can change the opacity from there. But there is no highlight or doodle feature for shapes and whatnot. Highlighting in this version is limited to only text. So otherwise, all the basic functions of Prezi Classic still remain true in Prezi Next. These are just the main differences that I found between the two and of course Prezi Video, which I will cover in a separate video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and you can click all the things in the end card and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Shoo!